Now, I think you had another question about um, an abstract of WAR1 signaling. Uh, this is uh, work that's being done in the laboratory. We're very interested to try and figure out what WAR1 is doing. And as I mentioned to you, uh, if you activate WAR1 on the leukemia cell, you can activate this uh, very important uh, activation of genes called NF-kappa B, which activates a number of different genes. Some of these genes encode proteins that are involved in cell survival. Some are involved in cell proliferation, but others can also activate other factors. And one thing that uh, one of the investigators in the laboratory had found, and he's presenting this at the ASH, was that a, a matrix metalloprotein uh, can be increased in its expression uh, when you have the WAR1 signaling take place. Now, what is a matrix metalloproteinase? If you think about it, how do cells get from point A to point B? The leukemic cells are in the blood. How do they go through the vessels and through the matrix, the uh, connective tissue? How do they get into the lymph node? It's not an easy trick. And so cells have to have what might be called uh, somehow a, an ability to digest some of these features to be able to extravasate through the tissues and do this very complicated trafficking that they need to do. And some of the proteins that are expressed in matrix metalloproteinases are very important for this regard. And we do feel that this elaboration of this protein really does enhance the ability for patients' uh, leukemic cells to invade into the matrix. And uh, shutting that off uh, I think may be very helpful in short-circuiting the ability of the leukemic cells to extravasate into other sites. And this may also apply to other cancers as well. I think we have to understand that cancer cells uh, are doing a lot of things other than just growing and causing havoc in patients. They're trying to maybe function as somehow an aberrant normal cell would. They don't know it. They're just trying to do their job. But we have to understand what is vital for the life cycle of that cancer cell and how can we short circuit that or throw a monkey wrench into it so that those pathways are blocked off. And then it could put the cancer cell at great susceptibility to uh, being killed by other agents or just by undergoing death by neglect, as we see with some of these newer targeted therapies.